Hi everybody, it's me Legardo Lax and also known as Chino. I gotta tell you, I got a new, another fake PSP that just arrived today. Uh, it's called um, the PAP K, no, PAP K2 wireless controller. The funny thing about it is that it doesn't come with the wireless controller if you order it at this website. That's the name of the website. Now, um, you can freeze frame and go back to it. Uh, this is the unit. I have a black one, and this is one of, you know, to be honest, out of all the PSPs that I reviewed that are fake, so far the Yin Lips overpower all of them. So far, I believe this unit was developed in Thailand. And look at this. It has, of course, its built-in camera, and uh, let me unplug it. I was charging it. It has a built-in camera right over here. The thing about it, it takes a long time for it to load. I gotta admit, it lo it has a little loading moment. There, come on, load. Then there's the camera. A little sluggish. Compared to the Yin Lips, it's actually more fluent frame rate when I was comparing it for my other reviews. Now, let me go back. Uh, this is actually a decent unit speed wise uh, so far I tested of course Game Boy Advance is perfect for it right now I'm gonna test uh, Super Famicom and that's what really counts more I'm gonna play Mortal Kombat I mean this game and the thing about of course this unit comes with these because um, I have two of them it comes with a Hong Kong adapter which you can charge via USB it comes with, of course, the, the user manual. And now I'm just about to benchmark the unit. It also has cheap headphones. It comes with, of course, the, the, the AV cable so you can plug to the TV, which is not really long enough. It's long enough for you to have to purchase the wireless controllers. Here's the start button. Ah, oh, that's my phone. Okay, I can hear the music already. What is there to talk about it? It's very choppy. It's synced by the no sound, but the frame's kind of chopped up with it. And there is no option for you to get back to the menu. There's a reset button that's buttoned up up here. And you got your TF card. It audio out right there in video and and then it says game prints of course it's a print then it has a menu identical to the PSP and it has optional game then it runs really slow but I gotta admit that let's see how we can play the Game Boy at um, advanced runs well but I am going to test um, and benchmark this game this one is Sega Genesis and it says loading it's almost identical to the Dingu it doesn't play 3D games Let's, let's see how this game. Wow. I gotta admit, the Genesis runs very, very smooth. But now I gotta reset the game. You have to press the reset button right here to reset the game. It's really small. That's one drawback. Um, it looks like it runs really smooth on Sega Genesis and Game Boy Advance. And then NES runs smooth too and Game Boy. It's on black and white. Then MVS. MVS is... Um, uh, it plays Neo Geo. I gotta see what... There's King of Fighters or whatever. Come on. Where's Metal Slug? It, it's already preloaded with a lot of games. So, I can load this up right here. It plays Neo Geo, uh, Super Nintendo, Sega Genesis, uh, CPS 1 and 2. But I gotta admit, I played the CPS 2, it runs really slow. It looks like the, the Neo Geo is running really smooth. I noticed it only has one speaker. Oh no, wait a minute, I'm sorry, I take that back. It does the same emulation like the Super Nintendo. The, the sound is synced, but the frame is off. You can see how choppy it is right there. 
Now I gotta press the reset button. It's actually an arcade emulator, so it runs kind of slow. So, and you got two buttons right here too. That's very hidden. So, click, 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 click. And I like the design. It's really well made. And um, let me show you the um, Super Street Fighter Alpha. It, I gotta admit, it runs really kind of slow. Uh, ding, ding, ding. You know, like it's really slow. I wish they have done the super. I mean, I mean the CPS2 emulation, just like the the the, the alpha. I mean, the CPS2 emulator. I wish it was sync with the sound. All frames are not drawn out, and it's really choppy. I'm sorry, I like Dan a lot. As I did a review on Game Box. It's very identical. It runs really slow. Press the reset again. I just hope the CPS one at least recently run. But as it's loading again, um, it's memory expandable up to thir uh, 32 gigabytes, and it plays, of course, certain. I mean, I, I got play Street Fighter 2. Let's see how smooth this one is, because the CPS 2 is running choppy. But for its price, and you go to that website, I'm telling you, it actually is worth it for Sega Genesis and Game Boy Advance, and and Game Boy and Game Boy Color emulation. But for CPS emulation and arcade, it supports it, but it's really choppy. The buttons here are just like the JXD. The le buttons of oh my! And I said before, it has an analog stick, but the digital pad is actually just buttons. These are not. This is not a D-pad. This is button pads. See. And so it's really hard to execute a Shoryuken or a Beacon. The resolution is really, I, I gotta admit, it's really high, but it's running really choppy. Okay, I am going to lose in this bout with the bad refrain rate. So far, I gotta admit, the arcade emulation is running really slow. That's including CPS 1 and 2. Uh, MVS is Neo Geo, so everyone's slow. Then the Super Famicom is decent. Uh, Sega Genesis, it, ru it runs fast. Well, I got a benchmark it with Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh, it's actually decent, yeah. It draws every frame, but I do need to frame skip it a little bit. And no, this unit is not Dingook's compatible. But this game is running a little slow, but it's very it's still playable. But you can actually beat the game on its speed. I gotta reset it. I got one more minute left and a half, so I'm gonna show you almost um, I mean it looks like certain Sega Genesis games run fast uh, Game Boy Color it comes with Pokemon and let's see Super Mario Deluxe Game Boy Color this is game oh wow look at that I got big loading Game Boy Color, I mean, it runs good. Screen is overstretched, but... I lost it. But so far, uh, it's alright. And you can actually um, get an external controllers that are wireless. It, goes pl it plugs in in that little mini um, SD card. But I thank you guys for watching and I'm happy with it. But so far the Yin Lips is running better. Thank you for watching.